Hi you guys, I'm Christy from Blingy Thingy on Etsy and today I'm just going to show you how I made these super cute kawaii fake clay marshmallows. So here's the bigger size that I made and then you can also make the smaller size marshmallows. And I used this particular product, it's the Daiso Soft Clay. This air dries so it doesn't have to be baked. And then the other thing that you're going to need is just a regular knife that's flat. Do not use one that has these jagged edges. That's not going to work. And then for adults, you can use a razor blade if you want, but for kids, you just a regular kitchen knife will work just fine. And then I already have this block of clay that I've been working with, so this is what I'm going to use. And what I want to do is just kind of cut off a slice of the clay. And this Daiso clay, it's super soft, really easy to work with, and I'm going to put it under my palm, and I'm just going to roll it back and forth. I just want to create a cylinder shape and just smooth it out. So just roll it under your palm. I don't really like doing a big chunk of it under my fingers. I feel like it doesn't smooth it out really good. You can use your fingers when you're working with a smaller piece. But for now, I'm just going to put it under my palm, just smoothing out a cylinder shape until I get it the way I want it. Then I'm going to take my straight edge and I'm just going to Slice it. Now I'll put it under my finger and I'm just going to smooth out that cylinder shape and then I'll press the top and just kind of work it between my fingers to really smooth everything out until I have this cute little marshmallow. And then if you want to make a smaller size marshmallow, then just cut off a smaller piece of clay. We'll make a really tiny one here. Now again, under my palm, creating that cylinder shape. And these are so cute. You can use them for um, adding in your sprinkles and adding to slime or making cute little kawaii charms or just so many different uses. And this clay is really nice because you don't have to bake it. You just want to let it dry between 24 hours and 72 hours, depending on how big of an item that you've made. So again, cylinder shape, take your straight edge, now I'm going to roll it under my finger, smoothen it out, and then I'm just going to press on the top. And again, just working it between my fingers. And then I have this adorable little fake marshmallow. And that's it. The only product that I used was the Daiso clay. And like I said, it doesn't have to be baked. Um, just allow the time for it to air dry. I sell this in my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link. And thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading new tutorials every week. Thanks, guys.